Hi guys. Or just like doing anything with the soil. I did not smell good. I don't know if that's normal. Mm, I've never seen that in my life. That's crazy, bro. Look at that. Moon grows right there. 
I can touch them. At least I'm not breaking them. Maybe I should turn the, the lights on. Hi guys, so I went plant shopping, as you could see. I don't have a tripod, so I'm just trying to make do. I'm trying to make a do to do. Okay, so I happened to find some really, really awesome clearance plants. And I'm gonna try to talk loud because I'm downstairs, so I know there's an echo, but I'm not naturally like a loud talker unless I'm angry. So it will sound very strange to you. <laughs> As you saw from the footage, I went to the clearance section and I went back to the clearance section twice, you know, like, um, like young boy says, you know, you gotta hit the, hit the block, spin the block, run the block twice. What are you saying? Double back, double back twice in a row. Three, three. Don't know how we got the three, three, but I had to double back to the clearance and I found this beautiful, ZZ plant, I think it's called Zamoculus. Um, yeah, it's usually $13.98. Any plants between $10 and $15 were $7. Anything over $15 was half off. So whenever I buy a new plant, I'm kind of just showing y'all my routine. Oh gosh. I'm just showing y'all my routine for when I purchase plants. Of course, I bring them home, take them out of their planter. There's water in there, so I'm assuming Ooh, she, she also may need a replant, but I'm not gonna replant her anytime soon. Hmm. I've never seen a planter like that with that big thing in there. Oh, so it sits up. That's, that's dope. This is just like a double planter. Yeah. I also got a Sansevieria, Sansevieria. And they say this is a still plant, durable, low maintenance. Y'all, this is like so exciting. I'm gonna pick the camera up and like show you, show you so you can like see it front facing, whatever. But yeah, this one was also $13.98. Let's see what kind of planter it's sitting in. Just a regular decorative planter. Probably gonna like paint this black, even though blue and brown, black and green are really, I have all the colors. There we go. I really have all the colors of the rainbow in my room. But I try to focus on like dark, deep, moody. I'm a water sign, Libra, so air, those type of things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like all the colors. <laughs> what am I talking about? So let's let's turn you around so you can see this plant. This one was amazing. Looks like it might have some spider mites or something because there's webbing on here. So, am I gonna separate these plants from my my, my art from my? <laughs> can't talk am I gonna take these upstairs to the garden probably so I might like in the springtime I definitely wait um to take my plants upstairs yeah there's webbing all over it okay but it was seven dollars so there's actually plants growing from the, the the existing leaves do you see that I have never in my life there's new growth, so it lets me know it's a little healthy. It's still pushing out new growth. This one also came through this hole. Have you ever seen anything like that? I have never. I'm gonna treat it. 
I treat all of my plants when they first come home, but look at that piece right there in the center of the frame. Grew, I think that one also grew out of a, out of another one. Yeah, I just, I have never seen this before, you guys. I've never, and I love it. My boyfriend was like, no, it's too weird. And I was like, no, I need it. I need a weird snake plant in my collection. All right. Ugh. And lastly, I got one of these golden pothos, Ethereum Ethereum. I couldn't turn it down. It does have a broken leaf right here, which sucks. Um, is this pothos? This is pothos. This is not a heart leaf philodendron. This is pothos, so yes. I'm gonna cut this piece right here and propagate it. With the propagation, I think you're supposed to cut halfway between the nodes. And this one was $20. It's so full. Cause I have lots of hanging, like accessories to hang planters in my room. So I can't wait to hang this one up. We gotta get a thumbnail. Is it clean? Oh my gosh. I don't know what it's looking like back there. This also serves as you watering your plants for the first water. The ZZ plant really didn't need it, but I do like to flush away anything that's in the soil or on the leaves. That's how you know your plant is watered very well when it releases water from the drainage. Hot soil holes? Yeah. From from the drainage holes, you know that your your plant is watered very well. And it feels pretty heavy. Yeah, this one feels a lot more heavy. Those are some very intense roots. Comment below, would you repot this right now or are you like me and you just let it let it um simmer a little while? I don't want to shock it, but a lot of people say that that doesn't matter. Headless gardening with destiny right now. <laughs> then next, I take my fungicide three. I use this or I have some like organic ones that I like to use. Maggie's Farm. I'll insert a clip of that. This is fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. You have to spray the soil in every single piece of the plant. So let's go ahead and do that. Is it on spray? Sorry, I'm moving the camera. But you gotta make sure you get all of it like under the underside. And then from there, you're going to put on the like direct nozzle and get into the soil. Uh oh, I just saw that there's um, roots right here. So they say when there's really exposed roots to be careful. So I'm gonna just do it around the edges. Y'all see those roots right there? Hopefully I didn't harm them. I'm gonna put a little water. Just to wash that away. I honestly need some more dirt to put on there. So I'm probably gonna add some dirt on top of there. And now for this one. And with ZZ plants, they do have bulbs in there. So you have to be a little careful when you're treating it or just like doing anything with the soil. She takes up the whole sink. She's so special. You're so special. You're so special, so special, so special. I can't wait to grow this next to my window. I've also heard that if you add a piece of pothos to any type of propagation, 
cutting with water. This has a hormone that will help the plant grow its roots faster. I don't know if it works like with just the leaf or if you need actual node and some roots, but we'll see. This is our plant mom experiment. I will come back in a couple weeks and we'll talk about what happened with these. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like it. Comment down below which one of these plants would you have bought in? Bought? And also when you saw all of the plants in the story, were there any that were calling your name? Any that you've never seen before? There were a lot of very unique plants, lots of rare plants. I don't know why I'm still talking about plants. This is the end of the video. My face, subscribe over here, black plant mom vlogs down here my shorts lots of plant content content there until next time it's me destiny of manifest by destiny bye everyone maybe i'll stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe breathing conversation